Ray here. Thanks for watching my review of the Geotel A1. Quick line of specs for this phone. It has sports a 4.5 inch IPS LCD screen at 244 pixels per inch. It is a 3G phone, so there is no LTE on board on this phone. It is dual SIM, so you can have two different networks going at the same time. The chipset it has a quad core uh, MediaTek MT6580M chipset and it supports a Mali 400 MP2 graphics processing unit. It has 8GB of onboard storage and 1GB of RAM. It is running Android 7.0 Nougat right out of the box and has a January 5th security update. The rear facing camera is 8 megapixels and the front facing camera is 2 megapixel. It does have an LED flash on the back and you can use a micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes. It has all the regular bells and whistles like every other phone, GPS, uh, micro USB support, accelerometer proximity, play music on there. And it does have a 3400 milliamp hour battery which is about middle of the road, it's not too bad. And the colors come in black and white. Normally when I do these reviews, I um, get up some camera samples. But for this phone, the camera is basically unusable. And I'll go into that into the review. But it's just a software update. Hopefully they, they, they uh, take care of it. But besides that, enjoy looking at the phone and enjoy the review. So let's talk about the build quality as well. Build quality is very, very rugged. I mean, you can see how thick it is. Uh, if you want to get a side-by-side, -side, that's my OnePlus 3 right here. And it has a case on it. So you can see the difference in it. This, this is very rugged. It's built to last. It's built so if you drop it or you dunk it in water or something, nothing's gonna happen to it. It's life-proof. That's why you have screws on the back, to hold the battery in and also keep all the internals uh, water free in case you do drop it in water. Very very rugged. This is all plastic. It's very thick plastic and even all the ports are covered. If you wanted to charge it, there's a little port on the top and that's where you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and your USB, uh, mini USB uh, charging. So build quality. I haven't tested it out too much yet, but I will do a torture test. But for build quality, it seems like it's built flexed, and we're going to find out if it is. Okay, so now let's talk about hardware performance. Uh, it's running Android Nougat 7.0, so it does actually run very well, surprisingly, considering it doesn't have a very good processor in it, and it only has one gigabyte of RAM. But it does run very well, and it's very smooth for it being such a low-end phone does run smooth, Android 7.0 with the January 5th security patch. So it does run very smooth. I wouldn't play really any graphics intensive games or anything like that. Just using the camera on this seems to just kill the battery easily. So it's definitely not a power user phone. The battery does die fairly quick and it doesn't have uh, fast charging of any sort, any kind of fast charging. So charging time is going to be pretty slow also, but performance wise, it is fairly good for uh, how budget of a phone it is. 720p screen, and it is a 4.5 inch screen. So the screen's not particularly small, but it's not big. I either have my two phones, my OnePlus 3T and my LG V20. The V20 has a 5.7 inch screen, and the 3T has a 5.5 inch screen. So having a 4.5 inch screen, 
it's though it's not small it does seem small to me because I'm used to such bigger phones but the main lacking point isn't the size of the screen it's that it's 720p so you're not gonna have the sharpest screen in the world but for the price you can't really complain camera performance uh, the box that came in stated that it has an 8 megapixel shooter on the back and a 2 megapixel shooter on the front my experience, the camera performance all across the board is pretty bad. It's mainly a software issue, but when I'm using the main, main pixel sensor, usually you can tap and it will uh, focus. This absolutely does not focus in any way, shape, or form. Anywhere you tap, it will not focus no matter what. So if you're right up on it, then you can take sharp photos, but if it's not literally half a foot away from the camera, you're not going to get any kind of focus and it's not going to be sharp photos at all. Now it can be fixed with a software issue and I would think Geotel should take care of that as soon as possible because that is a major, major hindrance of the phone. So hopefully they take care of it soon. It is a software issue. I don't believe that it's the sensor. But as it sits right now, the, gar the, the camera is absolutely garbage. Now for the price. Price is where this phone shines. It is $70 straight up. I got mine for $80 off eBay because I was $70 for the phone and then $10 for shipping. So the price is absolutely great on this phone. So you can't go wrong with that. And if you can sacrifice, you can deal with all the other pitfalls of this phone. $70 isn't a lot to ask. All right, now for the major draw of this phone is the shock resistance and the water resistance. Uh, I haven't really thoroughly tested the water resistance, but I have done the shock resistance. And you could throw it up in the air, let it land on concrete, and it'll still be fine. Uh, this model will turn off. Once it hits the ground and I pick it up, it'll turn off. But then I can just hit the power button and turn it right back on. But water resistance, I will test in the torture test. But I will give you guys a little quick show right now. You can see that it's on. Just toss it. And then, so it turns off. Okay, push the button, nothing. But the phone will turn back on. Okay. Screen's intact, everything's intact. So uh, stay tuned for the torture test. I'm gonna be I'm gonna try my hardest to break this thing. So we're gonna see if we can do it. Stay tuned for that. What shall we do with the drop What shall we do with the drop Megapixel camera on the back and a two megapixel camera on the front. And besides that. test that in the torture test. But I can give you guys a quick little show right now. I can just toss it. And then, so if you're on, in the, in the States, if you're on any of the major carriers, 